Lorraine Carvacan was too late in getting to the Grand Prix. Everyone was waiting up for him, but unfortunately we just couldn't wait any longer. We had to get the stand in Karun Chandok to fill in for this race. And away we go here in Monaco. Looks like we got off to a fairly decent start. And now we have a safety car. We've got an absolute car park here. We've got Maldonado, Ricardo. Pretty much the whole field is stuck. I just realized about now that I'm the last man standing in this Grand Prix. HRT is going to get its first win of the season. And now we are back in the championship. And meanwhile, Karun Chandok has been promoted to number one HRT driver. And he couldn't be happier. Surprise, motherfucker! Hello and welcome to the Cucumber Challenge guys. This is round 7 of this uh, quest to get the World Drivers title for Narain Carthacan and uh, here we are in Canada. Looks like we've got a wet practice here, 100% chance of rain and now looking over to the forecast for the entire weekend and we're going to have rain for the whole weekend and Narain Carthacan is completely done. He is so done, he's just going to leave the Grand Prix now. See you later. Alright, so after a bit of persuasion, we were able to convince Narain to come back for qualifying and the race. Uh, thankfully, that rage quit didn't result in a, uh, a non-start here. That would have been pretty disastrous for HRT. But here we are, qualifying one. Somehow, the track is dry, but we've got an 80% chance of rain in this first part of qualifying. So, what we need to do now, lads, is get a time in very early in this session. The setup is geared towards uh, the wet. I've got a bit of error on the car, so I'm hoping to uh, at least get a bit of traction and, and grip with the tyres on the road for the race when it should be raining. So here we are, uh, qualifying one, set of super soft tyres. We're not even going to muck around on the prime tyres. We're going to try and set a time as soon as possible. As you can see, the skies, so the dark skies are looming, and our banker lap is a 114.2. Puts us provisional pole uh, so far in the early part of Q1. But uh, that should be just enough to get us through in a Q2, and yes it does. As you can see, heavy rain uh, uh, came down after the end of qualifying one, and we still ended up P1 at the end of the session. So I think the rain definitely affected some runners uh, in that session. But here we are now for Q2, and it is completely wet, setting our first time of a 124.3. Not that great to be honest, we're last of the people who have set a time so far. But uh, we'll be looking to improve and hopefully secure ourselves a position in uh, qualifying through. We'll have to wait and see as we come now through the final chicane and the run up to the start finish line. We're using fast revs on the run up to the line. What time do we set it to 123.0 and we just get in to the top 10 there. Position, uh, provisionally in 8th eight, eight at the moment and I think we'll retire on that. And we ended up in 9th at the end of the session. Looks like it even dried up as well so... Um, Retiring early almost cost me there, but thankfully we're through to Q3 and all of a sudden it is dry again So the weather is Definitely uh, taking the piss today Going from dry to, to full wet uh, in Q1 and then fully wet in Q2 and then completely dry in Q3 This is gonna be an absolute nightmare for the engineers to, to work their heads around but anyway here we are uh, midway through Q3, we've set a banker lap, we're in 7th place at the moment, we're going to go out for another run, put on 3 laps of fuel and have an absolute blast at trying to get maybe pole position. We showed that we were quick in the first part of qualifying, we'll try and uh, convert that into Q3 now. And uh, Canada, probably being Narain Carthacan, is one of stronger, 
one of his stronger tracks, what am I trying to say there? Um, we should be in for a good result uh, in qualifying here today, hopefully. So here we are, uh, gearing ourselves up for our final qualifying lap. Full concentration here for Narayan Karthikan, easing himself into turn one. Looks to have hit the apexes there fairly nicely as he sets up his run uh, through the first sector now. And uh, only 40 seconds left in the in the session here, so this is going to be his one and only time lap. And Narain uh, taking the piss there with the uh, track limits there, but he gets away with it without a, a corner cut warning, so he's able to continue on on his lap. Three tenths down on his previous personal best, but he's 0 .007 up on pole position so far at the end of the first sector. So looking good here for Narain Karthikan. Coming through this uh, middle sector now, and uh, this should suit the HRT just a little bit. These uh, high-speed corners might suit the uh, the higher area that we're running on the car, but this third sector might be a little bit tricky as we're seven tenths down now on our previous personal best. Narain runs, runs wide and he hits the wall there, gets a puncture, and unfortunately that is the end of Narain's qualifying three session there. So we will start from P7 on the grid tomorrow, and that's not too bad considering uh, we had to get through a fully wet Q2 session. So I'll take that and uh, we'll move on to the race now. Hopefully we can have a bit of a bit of good luck here and uh, maybe snag a couple of points in the race tomorrow. So as we head on to the grid tomorrow, wish us luck. Alright, so here we are on the grid of the Canadian Grand Prix in fully wet conditions. We're going to try and get this HRT off the line in one piece. And away we go here in Canada. Looks like our getaway has been pretty terrible. We're getting mugged left, right and centre from the cars around us. Coming into turn uh, 1 here and we've moved up into position 8. If I haven't mentioned already, we're also running with realistic damage uh, in this career mode. So we can't make any contact with any cars here otherwise our front wing or tires will absolutely fly off so we need to be very cautious but uh, aggressive at the same time because um, once these uh, opening couple of corners are done with it's going to be very tough to uh, pull off some overtakes as this HRT is very slow so uh, we'll need to make the most of our opportunities early on in this race as uh, we don't have any pit stops in this Grand Prix either to uh, negotiate so uh, we need to make this set of tires last 18 laps a full set of wet tires 18 laps it's going to be very tricky but here we are at the end of lap two catching up to the back of Mark Webber who was uh, getting held up by the car in front and that's allowed us to catch up and pass him now coming into turn one so now we've moved up into position six and I really wasn't expecting uh, to pick up any places after the opening lap uh, in this Grand Prix, but I'll take it and I'll try and catch uh, Jensen Button as well So uh, my, wet, uh, my wet weather pace normally isn't that great and uh, Today is proving to be a uh, very different occasion as now we try and make a move on Jensen Button And we get the move done into turn two So now we are up into position five and Narain Karthikan can't believe his luck He is absolutely charging through this field and now cutting to lap five We've also caught up to the back of Lewis Hamilton and the cars in front, so the race leaders here are really starting to hold each other up. Uh, for some reason, they're all battling uh, pretty intensely, and uh, that's allowed me to catch up. Setting fastest laps, they're all holding each other up, and uh, and now on lap seven, we're almost within striking distance of Lewis Hamilton here, and we'll be thinking about making an overtake very soon. Going around the outside into turn two, turns to the inside, and uh, that really didn't work out. I just. Uh, Almost locked the brakes there, had to uh, almost lift off the brakes there and uh, overshot the corner. And that allows Hamilton uh, to maintain the position for now. We set the fastest lap on the previous lap and uh, Hamilton, due to this uh, almost minor incident, has dropped off the back of the, uh, the leaders there. So uh, he's going to be trying to catch up to the back of that little queue once again. And I thought this is going to be a turning point. Uh, for this Grand Prix and it turned out to be that way But not in our favor as Lewis Hamilton really started to put the hammer down after that And as you can see on that slow-mo there I'm trying to push as hard as I can to try and uh, Maintain that gap or try and close the gap to Hamilton But as you can see the gap is ever extending and unfortunately I just wasn't able to catch him uh, The leaders absolutely bolted after that the tire wear started to kick in and now I felt uh, fell into the clutches of uh, Jensen Button now. We're trying to go defensive here on the final lap coming into the hairpin. We need to get a nice exit off this 
Hairpin. I've saved up all of my curves to defend from uh, Jensen here in that fast McLaren in that Mercedes powered car. And uh, Nico Rosberg takes out the win here in Canada. We don't care about that though because we're trying to defend from uh, Jensen Button here. And this could be a crucial two points in our championship standings. We need to get as many points as we can in this HRT because sometimes points are sometimes few and far between in these Grand Prix. Coming out of the final corner though, it looks like we might maintain fifth place. And Narain Karthikand is absolutely ecstatic because he's got 10 points to add to the championship tally. Alright, so there we go. Fairly hard Ford Grand Prix in the end. Really wasn't expecting to move up uh, any places after the opening lap, but I'll take 10 points to add to the championship tally, and uh, we should be able to move up just ever so slightly in the uh, driver's standing. So uh, that's been the Canadian Grand Prix for today in the Cucumber Challenge. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you have any suggestions on maybe any mods you'd like me to install uh, to add to the almost experience of this uh, career mode championship, then let me know. But until my next video, guys, I'll see you next time.